my top 10 most anticipated board games of 2021. Thank you for joining me today here at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Well, I want to share with you my most anticipated board games coming out in 2021. This list will not include any Kickstarters that were funded last year and coming this year. No Kickstarters that are coming this year. This list is purely games that will be published in 2021 coming to uh, release from publishers in 2021 and not coming through a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign or things like that. So that list sort of narrowed, is narrowed down already. If you've seen other uh, content creators lists, I really wanted to be na as narrow as possible. So this list is going to be games coming out in 2021 and um, that you should be able to purchase that will come out. I should say no top 10 list is a top 10 list. You have more than 10 <laughs> games. And uh, last year I had added Dice Realms from Rio Grande Games to that list. It never came out in 2020 uh, due to just things that happened in 2020. So I heard that Dice Realms will be coming out from Rio Grande Games in 2021. I'm not sure exactly when, uh, but that is an upgradable dice game. Uh, if you've played Rattle Bones or Dice Forge, it sort of takes that and mixes in uh, more of like a game like Dominion where you're sort of like trying to make your best deck in Dominion, whereas this you're trying to make your best dice, you're upgrading your dice. So I'm really looking forward to Dice Realms. And before we get into top 10 as well, I mentioned on my Kickstarter list that I thought now or never from Red Raven Games was coming to Kickstarter. I've heard through the grapevine that it sounds like it's just coming to retail. It's just going straight, uh, being published from Red Raven Games. So if that's the case, I would definitely have added that to my list as well. Now or never in the line of the uh, series from Red Raven with Above and Below, Near and Far, and now, now or Never. I'm really interested in that game. I'm just really not sure if it's coming to Kickstarter or coming to publish. I've heard conflicting um, things coming from, uh, from people so, but hopefully we'll see that game coming shortly. Without further ado, let's start our top 10. In the number 10 spot is Cape May from Thunderworks Games. And this is a game for one to four players, it takes about one to two hours to play, and it is a city building economic game. It has area majority, it has hand management, set collection, I'm interested in this game at number one because I really do enjoy games that have come from Thunderworks Games. Cartographers is one of their most popular ones. Players traverse the city streets as entrepreneurs developing property while building wealth over four seasons to earn prestige. Number nine is The Adventures of Robin Hood from Cosmos. This game is for two to four players, takes about an hour to play. You're taking on the role of Robin Hood. I love the theme, the Robin Hood theme. Uh, with Nottingham and just that time period is kind of fun. You'll be taking actions on a living game board with no set paths. It actually comes with a hardcover book where as you play, the story will change. For number eight, 2F Spiel is bringing Fam from Friedman Fries. I'm a big fan of uh, some of his games like Power Grid. This game is for one to five players, takes about 110, 240 minutes to play, so a little bit longer. This has deck construction and the theme, sort of this is this ancient economic farming theme. You'll be taking on the role of advisors developing fam for the respect of the pharaoh and the good of the city. And the game features a card mechanism reminiscent of the deck builders and market mechanisms used in Power Grid. And it looks like there might be a little bit of engine building in the game too, which I love engine building games. Forward number seven, we have Lost Explorers from Ludonaut. This is actually coming from the same designer as Lewis and Clark, one of my favorite games. 
and this has a set collection uh, mechanic to it. It's for two to four players, takes about 40 minutes to play. Players control a research team and they'll be tracking your discoveries, you'll be gaining equipment and going on expeditions. Number six is Lost Cities Roll and Write. One of my favorite two player games is Lost City, a fun set collection game. Now this is coming from Cosmos and uh, designed by Reiner Knizia. This is a two player game, Lost Cities. The roll and write version says two to five players and plays in about 30 minutes. So interested about that, of course, being a roll and write, you're gonna have dice rolling in the game and Looks like the gameplay, of course, has changed up a little bit with you starting expeditions on six colored paths. So it seems like there's some sort of connection with the Lost Cities two-player game. We'll see how well it connects or how much different it is. The Initiative from Unexpected Games. This is actually a division of Asmodee. This is for one to four players, and the game is a co-op game that has a story to it and some code breaking in it as well. In the game, you found a mysterious board game called The Key. Not only will they play the key, but players will help the teens in the game through chapters follow a series of missions linked together via an interactive comic book. Each chapter takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. One of the things I find really interesting about this one is it says it's a game within a game. Some inception going on. Number four is going to be really quick. It is a game coming soon from Stonemaier Games. I cannot reveal any information other than what he's already revealed. Uh, the code name is Gold, and I found out the name of the game, and uh, we should be receiving a review copy soon in the mail. Really looking forward to Gold from Stonemaier Games, and we'll reveal more information as I can. Number three is Sagrada Legacy, coming from Floodgate Games. Uh, if you have played Sagrada, I uh, love the colors in Sagrada, love the gameplay of Sagrada with that dice drafting mechanic going on as you're collecting the different color dices. Dice. Um, this is um, one of the games I've heard a little bit about it from Floodgate Games about Sagrada Legacy and I can't reveal too much more than it sounds really, really cool what they are going to bring to the table. It will be a truly legacy game and not just like a campaign uh, game. It's going to have uh, legacy type elements in the game. The Crew was my favorite game of 2020, one of my most played games of 2020, my, the most enjoyable experiences I had in 2020. Played over a hundred different uh, missions and I uh, love, love, love The Crew. Well, my number two spot is The Crew, the Deep Sea, Mission Deep Sea, coming from Cosmos. Uh, this is I believe a standalone game, but it probably has some of the same mechanics going on with the crew. If it's anything like this game, I know, I know I'm going to love Crew the Deep Sea Mission one. I'm wondering what new, are they going to, are they going to introduce a new mechanic? Are they, I know they can come up with new missions, but uh, the theme of course is Deep Sea. This one of course was uh, flying in space and things like that. So I'm interested in what Cosmos will uh, bring to the table with the new standalone game called The Crew, The Mission Deep Sea. And my number one anticipated game, I'm cheating a little bit because it literally just came in the mail and I had played a prototype of this. This is from Bezier Games Maglev Metro. Uh, this game is a engine building game, set collection game, it's got route building in it. It's for one to four players, plays in about an hour and a half, and uh, I love what this game is doing. Um, the, the tiles are cool because they're transparent as you're building those routes. Um, it seems like it could be a mean game, but you're really not competing with the routes themselves with players. Um, it's not like you can take people's routes from each other like you could in other games like Ticket to Ride and things like that, where sometimes that could uh, sometimes be a mean game if you want it to be. But uh, Maglev Metro from Bezier Games. You'll be building a rail system, transporting workers and robots beneath the city, replacing the subway systems with newer, faster, quieter technology. Enhance your rail system's ability so that your passengers arrive at their destinations first. And by the end of the game, the whole board looks so cool with this sort of subway-esque looking map. So that wraps up my top 10 most anticipated board games coming in 2021. 
Let me know in the comments what board games you are excited about that are coming in 2021 and you don't have to be beholden to how confined I was to my list so you can definitely mention Kickstarters or Kickstarters that are coming in the mail to you that you backed last year. Um, other any kind of board games that you'll see in 2021. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that and of course um, I'd love for you to check out Tantrum Con February 5th, 6th, and 7th. You can find out more information at tantrumcon.com. And I'd love for you to join us, play games, have fun, and uh, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to Tantrum House.